Welcome to SWK's video series on Sage 100. This video is going to demonstrate how to reverse a check. This will happen in the Accounts Payable module, the main menu, and under Manual Check and Payment Entry. When the panel comes up, I need to choose the correct bank code, and then I'm going to simply enter the check number that is to be reversed. I'm getting a prompt, is this a check reversal, and I'm going to say yes. If I say no, it's going to assume that I want to reuse the check number. My second prompt is equally as important. Do I want to recall the original invoices paid by this check? If I say yes, the invoice balances will be put back on the vendor's account and will allow me to pay the invoices at a later date. If I come over to lines, here are the two invoices that were paid on the original check, and I'm going to select Accept. I'm going to do the alternate where I am not going to recall the original invoices and our process is slightly different. When I come into the lines, I'm going to use the icon to create a general ledger distribution. In my example, my vendor has a default account assigned to it and I'm going to accept that. If I chose, I could select a different GL account or I could distribute the account the amounts among several accounts. These are the only two checks that I want to reverse so let's take a look at the register. You could see here that, oh, let me just make that a little larger for you. You could see here that my first check that I reversed, number 17, had two invoices and it's merely putting the balances back to the invoice. The second check that I reversed, number 18, you could see there's a general ledger account that hasn't been impacted. So both checks are being reversed, however, one will allow me to pay the invoices, the other one is going back into the accounts that the invoices came from. When I update my check register, I have it automated so that the daily transaction register has automatically updated, and so that's my only step, and now I'm done. If I go back to the vendor um, account, we could see what the invoice looks like. If I look at my June 2020, you could see I have the invoice, I have the payment, and then I have a payment again where it is showing that it's a plus instead of a minus. Easy to see that the check has been reversed. Hope this helps you get more out of Sage 100. Thank you for watching.